we had a chance to speak to Waldemar Kulej, the son of the most celebrated Polish boxer, a man who won two gold medals in two consecutive Olympics. So nice to have you here. Mr. Waldemar, the director of the movie Kule, Ksaver Żuławski, said that without you, this movie would have never got on the ground. Could you tell us about the beginnings of this movie? It all started with my big dreams. I really admired my father when I was a teenager. That's when the idea started to germinate. What if I could somehow document his life, or even turn it into a feature film that people would want to watch? It's the result of my years-long attempts to commemorate my father. His death in 2012 left me with a profound sense of sadness. After a period of self-reflection and mourning his passing, I decided that the best way forward was to pass on his legacy in the form of a book. And then, when the book was finished, adapting it to another medium was the natural next step. Film was the best choice and the one most accessible to younger audiences. And because I'm an educator by training, I wanted to make sure the world learned about my father's story. There's a didactic dimension to it as well. I wanted to show the younger generation that you can overcome the odds and achieve your goals, as long as you don't give up. The way it happened was, when the second, more comprehensive biography came out, Piotr Sharama and I decided we'd try to get a movie made. I think the choice of production company, Watch Out Studio, was my single major contribution to the picture. I watched two of their movies. The first was Gods. And that's when I thought, yes, this could be it. Then I watched another production of theirs, The Art of Loving, the story of Michalina Wiswocka, and I left the theater with goosebumps. I told myself, it's gotta be them. A few days later, I sent them an email without even hoping it would lead to anything. But after two long weeks of waiting, to my great surprise, I got a reply with an invitation to come in for a meeting. I grabbed my dad's biography and met with Piotr Starak and Krzysztof, who decided they were very interested in working on the project. What struck me was their involvement and determination to see the project through. I thought I was coming to them with a minor proposal that wouldn't catch anyone's interest. And here it turned out to be Watch Out's main project. I'm here at the festival and I still can't get over all the emotions I felt working on this project. You were saying that you lived all of your life in the shadow of your great father. So could you share with us what was your father really like? And a second question, did you see your father in that movie? I loved dad, but I also hated him sometimes. That's just the truth and what life is often like. People are never flat or one-dimensional, especially the larger-than-life figures. Naturally, we pay the price for his successes, which often cast a long shadow over the family. I'm also deeply happy that the role played by my mom will be front and center now. Whenever there was a crisis at home, I always tried to take her side, and that brought me considerable satisfaction. On the one hand, that was this incredible athlete, beloved by all. But on the other, at home, he would sometimes turn brutal, so it wasn't always sunshine and roses. It was pretty bad whenever he would get home from a bender. But we've had some great moments too, a lot of shared joy. He made me into who I am. He inspired me to swim and take up diving, which also helped me rehabilitate some health issues that lingered since birth. So, our home life really had two sides, with the darker moments offset by brighter, happier moments. To me, the film is a recollection of my father, an entertaining account of the man, emphasizing his athleticism and showing him in a positive light. And that's what's most important here, to remember him like that. Ksaver Żuławski, the director, said it's not just a sporting movie, but it's a movie about love. And your mom was an incredible woman, a really strong one at that, who kept your father on straight and narrow. 
Was there a moment when you l saw the actress and thought, yeah, that's my mum? Let me go back to the auditions, when the company was trying to cast the right actors. The actresses who ended up playing Giorgetta originally read for the role of my mother. The director, Xavere, showed me the audition tapes and I said, Michalina Olszewska looks just like my mother. And that was the decisive factor in casting the role. So, we have your father, the most celebrated Polish boxer ever. We've got your mother, a really strong woman, and you, the son. Not just a son of Kule, but a teacher and a boxer in your own right. What message would you like the audience to get from your movie, both in Poland and abroad? Ja bardzo bym chciał, żeby wszyscy odebrali ją właśnie jako zwyczajnego, normalnego człowieka. I really want to get my father's story out there, all over the world, not just in Poland. I want people to see him as an everyday guy who put in a heroic amount of work. What my father did was extraordinary, his determination and dedication. It's an example that needs to be shown to the world. It demonstrates how, despite all odds and life's misfortunes, people can withstand the pressure and reach their goals. The harder it is to achieve something, the more satisfying it is when you finally do it. You can never give up. That's the main message of this story. How do you feel that Polish, the communist Pol Poland of the 60s, was portrayed in the movie? Was it true to the time in your memories? Or would you feel at, at points it was maybe overly sweet and overly uh, optimistic? I think this depiction of his story is simply fantastic. I don't remember that much. I was just a little kid then. But then I watched it all happen on TV and felt those emotions. The movie does a fantastic job of telling the story, even if it isn't exactly the way I remembered it. How do you judge Tomasz Włosok's performance and not just the emotional range, but his physical change? Was his style of boxing as you remember it from the ring or from the silver screen? Tak, muszę przyznać, że Tomasz Włosok również mnie zaskoczył, ponieważ na początku I must admit, I found the choice of Tomasz Włosok surprising. I was initially opposed to it because I thought he was too big, too massive. My dad was slightly built, smaller than Tomasz, but before I saw him in full makeup, I couldn't tell if he would be a good fit. Tomek swoim kunsztem aktorskim, swoją, swoim profesjonalizmem udowodnił mi w trakcie już ja. But with his professionalism and acting skills, Tomasz proved that he was the right candidate for the role. I changed my mind about him once I saw him on set. His stamina and dedication made an enormous impression on me, as did his great desire to play the role, even though he'd never even met my father. It was heartwarming to me, and I was sure he'd do the best possible job, and that's exactly what he did. Tomasz later told me that he'd been given the opportunity to make his biggest dream come true. He got to combine his love of martial arts with his other great passion, acting. Tak zrobił. A ja jeszcze mogę, jeśli mogę, chciałem też powiedzieć, że mówiąc o mojej mamie, że była silną kobietą. I also want to mention that my mother was a beautiful woman. When she met my father at the age of 19, her parents still had a strong influence on her, and her marriage made her even more dependent on them. But as she overcame one obstacle after another, she began to grow in strength. We became very strong and she learned to stand up to my father and sometimes compete against him to protect her own rights. That's how she rose to a level where she could face him as an equal. Mr. Kule, thank you so much for finding time to talk to us. Kule, the movie about sport, the movie about love, we can't wait to see it. I encourage everyone to see Kule, all that glitters is in gold, in theatres now. I was talking here in Gdynia at the 49th Polish Film Festival to Waldemar Kule, the son of Kule, the most celebrated Polish boxer ever. I was Karolina Shapland for TVP World.
Panie Jurku, chodzi za mną taki film, a będzie wszystko, czym karmi się kino. Pod krew, alkohol, łzy, kobiety. Właśnie, pan pozna nasze aktorki. Jerzy Kulej. Nie z Polski. Naród kocha bardziej boks niż partię. Na szczęście gramy w jednej drużynie. A za czymś jeszcze tęskniłeś? Za tęskniłem, tęskniłem. Jesteście żywą legendą Gwardii Warszawa. Najlepiej boksujący milicjant w Europie, a w ostatnim czasie najlepszy na całym świecie. Helenka! Oni wszyscy czegoś ode mnie chcą, tylko że to nigdy nie chodzi o mnie, tylko zawsze o ciebie. A ja chcę mieć swoje problemy, nie twoje. I boksować chcę. Dla Gwardii, dla kraju. Co ty sobie, Jurek, myślisz, że ja będę na ciebie całe życie czekała? Jesteś fatalnym ojcem! Po drugie! Niewiernym mężem! Olimpiada już za chwilę. Następna taka okazja nie powtórzy się wcześniej niż za cztery lata. Czyste, sportowe emocje! Cześć, Turek. A ja nic nie zrobiłem! Zatem to natychmiast!